once you've had some experience graphing polynomial functions, you can actually find the equation for a polynomial function given the graph. And I want to try to do that now. So this one is a cubic. Um, we're calling it f of x. And so I want to write a formula for f of x. Now let me start by observing that the x-intercepts are negative 3, 1, and 2. And remember, x-intercepts give us the, uh, the factors. Negative 3 gives me x plus 3. 1 gives me x minus 1. And 2 gives me x minus 2. Um, and you might also notice that the function ha uh, is decreasing. Normally, a cubic finishes by going up to infinity. But this one's going down to negative infinity. So there's probably a negative coefficient in front. So let's see how, how we did here. We can test it by seeing if it passes through negative 3 when we plug in 0. So f of 0 equals negative 3, negative 1, negative 2. So this is 2 times 3, negative 6. OK, it didn't work. Well, that's because, remember, that there are lots and lots of polynomials, lots and lots of cubics that pass through these three x-intercepts. Any, any multiple of this polynomial will pass through those three intercepts. So the best way to start is to start with the x-intercepts and then a little parameter a. We'll figure out what a is by using the y-intercept. right? But just, just make it a for now. It'll work out that you, know, you, you see that, th that a is going to be negative because the thing ends up going downward. But that'll all work itself out. So let's plug in the y-intercept. f of 0 equals 6. So we get a times 3. I'm sorry, not 6. That's what I got last time. Negative 3. 3, negative 1, negative 2. And again, I get 6a equals negative 3. So a is negative 1 half. a is negative 1 half. So my function is f of x equals negative 1 half x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 2. And you could see that if, if we hadn't been given this point or any other, other point other than the x-intercepts, we wouldn't be able to actually find this value of a. And we could make a anything we want. But when you're given another point, you actually can determine the exact value of a and come up with the right formula in the end. Remember, start with the intercepts, put an a here, and use another point to find the value of a.